Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the new Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. So this collection with Jaclyn consists of four eyeshadow palettes. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys swatches of every palette, I'm going to go over every palette, and I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys using one of the palettes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my Instagram stories opening this vault back here and talking about these palettes and my initial thoughts, but if you guys are interested in a more in-depth review, then just keep on watching. So basically, these four eyeshadow palettes are meant to be an extension of the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which is a 35 pan palette. If you guys have not seen my Jaclyn Hill palette review, I will go ahead and link it so you guys can check it out. I personally was a big fan of that palette. So basically she had leftover thoughts and leftover shades that she really wishes she could have included and shown to us. So she created four palettes with four different color stories in order to debut those shades and give us some more shades from the same formula, same collection type of deal. So if you guys end up being interested in any of these palettes, you can buy them individually for $15. And they are a 10 pan eyeshadow palette, so for $15, that is a really affordable price. Or you can buy all four of them as a vault collection for $49. No, you will not get the PR packaging. I've had a lot of questions about that. You will pretty much get packaging that looks just like this. It holds all four palettes in one. And these are launching on the Morphe website on the 26th of June, and you guys can use influencer codes. I do want to try to get a code with Morphe. If I have one, I will leave it below. If not, you can use anybody's code, and I believe you get an extra 10% off of your order, which is always nice, so don't forget to use a code. We're going to start with my personal least favorite, and you guys will know why in a second. This is the palette Ring the Alarm, and as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful, warm-toned palette, but that's exactly why this is my least favorite. I feel like we've seen this before from Jaclyn in the actual Jaclyn Hill palette, so Ring the Alarm to me looks so, so close to colors that are already in that palette and already in my collection personally. So this is the least exciting to me, but I do know that so many people have this one at the top of their list because of the warm tones. And this palette swatched absolutely beautifully. I had no complaints about any of the shades in here, and I think that it is a beautiful palette, and I still can't get over that each of these are $15. The next palette in the vault is called Bling Boss, and this one is the Purpley Mauve palette, and this one was absolutely stunning. This is my second favorite palette out of the vault. The shades in here are just so beautiful, so vibrant. The only shade that didn't really work for me while swatching was this matte shade called Hush Hush. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of left some hard pan on this shadow after I was done swatching it, and it really didn't want to pick up that well for me. But I had another favorite shade out of this palette that I think is so stunning, and it's the shade Berry Treasure. This shade has beautiful golden reflex in a nice deep purple shade and it's just so unique and gorgeous to me. I am obsessed with it. So that's part of the reason why this is one of my favorite palettes. The swatches were absolutely stunning and this palette is one that is next up on my list for a tutorial. So if you guys want to see a tutorial with this one next, then thumbs up this video and it will be the next palette that I try out on my eyes. The next palette that I want to show you guys is a really beautiful color story. This is another more warm tone palette, but this one has a yellow in it, like a mustardy yellow. It also has an olive that I don't think swatched the greatest. So this Armed and Gorgeous palette is another favorite. I think it's a really beautiful color story. I'm a big fan of this one because I feel like I don't have a lot of palettes that have this color scheme and I feel like it's fairly unique when it comes to what I already have in my collection. And looking at that palette, I want to push out of my comfort zone. But my favorite palette out of the collection is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today, and that is Dark Magic. So Dark Magic is obviously the darkest palette out of the collection. It is the smokiest palette. It has forest greens in it. It's got some really deep shades. It also has some really beautiful metallic colors. So this one I think is my favorite because I definitely did not have anything like this in my collection beforehand. This one I think I will dip into the most when I'm going on date nights or 
if I want to go out. Now on to my thoughts about the actual quality of the eyeshadows. I feel like it is pretty consistent with the 35 pan Jaclyn palette. Some of the mattes swatched really poorly on my arm, but Jacqueline actually talked about that in her video, and I agree with her. I feel like arm swatches really are pretty useless unless you're just looking at it for color. So what really matters is how they apply to your eye, and the mattes that I tried out of the Dark Magic palette blended beautifully today. I loved them. I have no doubt that I'm going to enjoy these palettes, especially for the price point. I feel like you really can't complain when it comes to a $15 eyeshadow shadow palette with really great pigment. If there's a couple mattes that swatch poorly on your arm, that's not a deal breaker for me. Also, I really enjoy the packaging. It's not a matte packaging, so it's not going to get filthy like some of the palettes in the past. And I like that there's a mirror in them, so if you're going to take them traveling, you do have a mirror now. Now, I'm honestly sitting here trying to think of cons when it comes to these palettes, and really, it's just a couple of those matte chalky shades when I swatch them on my arm but you can't judge a shadow unless you put it on your eye. So that's why I want to do three more tutorials using the other three palettes that I did not use today. But if it's going to help you guys out at all, I am going to insert a tutorial portion. I wanted to cover my bases here. I wanted to show you each palette swatch and I wanted to give you an application. So I'm going to move on to the tutorial. If you guys enjoy these reviews, please give this video a thumbs up for me. And if you guys want to see me try the Dark Magic palette on, then just keep on watching. I kind of want to do something green and smoky with this dark shimmering green called Trickery. So we're just going to dive right into this palette and it has a bunch of fingernail dents and it's dirty because I already swatched it and I always ruin my palettes when I swatch them. So I'm going to first go in with the only shade that really works as a transition for me in this palette. This is the shade Shush and I'm going to pick this up with my Sigma E40 blending brush. This brush is part of my Sigma Favorites set that is available if you guys didn't know on Sigma's website. I will leave it linked down below. It's six of my favorite brushes. And all that I have down before shadow is concealer and powder. So this shade is blending really nicely. So now I want to go into the shade Trickery and I think I'm going to apply this with my finger and then blend it out. So I just picked up a little bit. So once I have that packed on the lid with my finger, I'm going to take my E25 that's also in my Sigma set and back with that transition brown shade, I'm going to blend around this shimmering green color. Picking up some more of that green, I'm going to try to help the blend a little bit. So I'm not gonna lie, as with any dark shades, they take a little bit of finessing to make sure that they are blended, but they're really, really pretty once you start to figure it out and get them blended on the lid. This green color is like giving me dragon vibes. Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna take another matte shade with a pencil brush. I'm gonna take this forest green matte color called Inside Job, and I'm gonna drag this on my lower lash line. This is a really dark shade, so it's gonna make the look more smoky. Really lightly with my blending brush, I'm gonna hit that lower lash line. Now this color right here, this shimmery, silvery shade called Power Cut is giving me inspiration for my liner. So I think I want to do a silver liner. I want to go see if I have the materials to do so and I will come back and we're going to do a weird look for me. So I'm going to try dipping into this Stila Metalist eyeshadow. This is in the shade Diamond Dust and I'm going to see if I can create like a diamond liner of some sort.
Okay, so I am back. I actually had the worst struggle with my eyelashes. They're probably going to fly off at some point, but that is not the eyeshadow's fault. It is my fault for going in with glitter and then trying to put lash glue on top of it. So that was just a total struggle, but the actual eyeshadow itself performed beautifully. And I do think that this palette has really great quality for a $15 palette and you can get really amazing deep pigmented looks out of this palette. I just wish I wouldn't have gone for this crazy silver liner because the liner really screwed me over when it came to my lashes and now I can't wait to pluck these lashes off. But hopefully my color coordination gave you guys some inspiration as to what you could do with this dark magic palette. Alright you guys, so that is it for the tutorial. I definitely struggled a little bit with the other things that I put on my eye, but the eyeshadows themselves worked beautifully. I absolutely loved it upon first impression. I feel like I knew I would because the swatches felt so similar to the 35 pan Jaclyn palette and I absolutely loved that one. So if you guys have any more in-depth questions for me that I didn't answer in this video, leave them down below because as I said earlier, I am going to be trying out the other palettes in the collection. If you guys want to leave me which one you are most interested in seeing from me, then go ahead and leave it in a comment and I will take that into consideration when I'm posting. But make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram because I do want to do a few of these tutorials on Instagram as well. I might do Instagram and YouTube. These are just so highly requested from you guys and they inspire me these color stories and throwing me out of my comfort zone kind of just makes me want to be creative which today my creativity kind of took a turn with this glitter liner but you know you have to try it in order to end up with really nice exciting looks so I just suggest that you guys go for it look up inspiration and if you're interested in these palettes they are approved by me so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video I hope that it was helpful for you guys if you are interested in this collection let me know any thoughts you may have down below and I look forward to answering you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I put out new review videos every single week usually two to three videos a week sometimes a little less sometimes a little more and follow me on my other socials if you want to see daily content I did do an Instagram live opening this package I have some more exciting launches coming to me very very soon and some trips so I would love to have you guys stay up to date with me and chat with me on a daily basis but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next one bye